guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be testing out some new products. So I recently got all three of the masks that were supposed to come in my add-on. If you are unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, I did an add-on through BoxyCharm last month and they dead ass shipped me one mask in a box this big. Such wasteful packaging. So uncool. I was supposed to get three masks and I had only gotten one at the time, so I contacted BoxyCharm and they rectified the situation very quickly for me and they sent out my masks that they owed me. So I got all of these masks and I am excited to try them. So this is the Wanderberry Antioxidant Mask. So it's an intensive sheet mask that works to correct pigmentation, boost radiance, and deeply hydrate for a brighter, even toned complexion. So I originally got this mask because it was part of the add-ons and it was a hydration mask. So it says free of parabens, harmful substances, cruelty free, and free of artificial colors. So how to use, after cleansing even out skin using a toner, place the sheet mask on face except the eyes and around the mouth. So avoid your eyes and mouths. And then leave on for 10 to 20 minutes. So seems interesting. Um, this is from the brand Hararu. I've never heard of them before. So Hararu Wander Ma Maku. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Maku Berry Antioxidant Mask. So. We're gonna be doing the face mask. So you're supposed to cleanse your face before using the mask like every other face mask on the market. So I have a new product. So this is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. So I got this in my Boxy Lux box last month in December, so two months ago. And this is, um, my lights are not in the right spot. Better. I just cleaned my studio and Everything is kind of out of whack a little bit. So this is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser for all skin types, rich in amino acids, gent gently cleanses face and eyes. So you can use it on your face and your eyes. So it says directions, wet skin and massage on face and eyes and then rinse. So standard face mask. So it's just a white packaging with black and red writing and you get 150 milliliters, so five fluid ounces. And we got this in the Boxy Lux box. So I am yet to try it and I'm going to try it right now with you guys. So this is what the packaging looks like and this is what the mask looks like. If you can even see the mask. <laughs> Turn my lights way back up. So just a purple packaging, looks cute. So we are going to try out this cleanser. So I'm just going to take a little bit. Oh, maybe that's why it doesn't smell like anything because there is a seal. So let's take off the seal. It smells. Like cucumber. I don't. I don't like the smell of it. No, it smells like moldy cucumber. <laughs> Again, I'm having a lot of skincare products lately that are smelling like cucumber, and I'm just not a big fan of the scent of cucumber. So I'm just going to quickly wet my face and then massage this all over my face. My face is wet, so now I'm just going to massage it like I would any other mask. Okay, I really don't like the scent of this. It literally smells like a cucumber and I just don't like it. I love cucumber. Cucumber in general is such an awesome fruit. It is a fruit, but it just, the scent of it is not for me and that's exactly what this smells like. It literally smells like a cucumber. I don't like it at all. So it said you can use it around your eyes. I'm not going to just because I don't want to. I don't really want, I don't really use face cleansers um, around my eyes. I just have my own eye stuff that I already use. So I'm just going to avoid my eye area in general and rinse it off. Now that my face is rinsed off, I'm just going to towel dry it. So as for a first impression of this cleanser, um, my skin feels clean, it looks really clean, it has like that almost squeaky feeling clean um, that you get after you wash your face with a cleanser, and it has revealed all of my breakouts that are seem to be happening. It's a pretty good facial cleanser, but I just don't like the smell of it. Um, I would prefer to either not have a scent or um, just, I don't know, I just don't like the scent of it. I am breaking out, I think I'm breaking out from a product that I've been using. So I may stop using a product that I have recently been trying because that is not okay. But anyway, we're going to move on to this mask. So now that my face is clean, cleaned, clean, we are going to move on to this mask. So this is a sheet mask and it looks dirty. I don't, 
I'm assuming that's how it's supposed to look. I'm hoping. <laughs> it is very wet, so that's a good thing. I struggle with face masks so much, so relatable content right here. If you guys suck at face masks too, enjoy me struggling for five minutes. It is so windy out right now, holy crap. All right, let's just try to get this on without wrecking it. So this mask smells really good, but like all face masks for me, it is um, not going on very easily. I have no idea what's happening. If you guys hear um, laughing in the background, Kyle is in the living room with two of his friends and they are being very loud. So that's what that is. So this face mask is really, really big. Um, it's kind of like obnoxiously big and that is one of the reasons that it isn't going on that well for me. It's like rolling underneath itself and just being a pain in the ass. Also. There is a piece of hair stuck under it. Get out. Thank you. So I think that's probably as good as we're going to get this mask. This mask hole is like huge, so let's see if I can unroll it. So like that is ridiculous. Look how big that hole is. Like this mask doesn't go on very well at all, so I would say that this is a not that great of a mask, um, just by not fitting at all <laughs> to my face. But I mean, everybody has different face structures, but still, like, this is really bad. So this mask doesn't want to go on um, straight at all. So I think this is as good as I'm gonna get it. Um, there's going to be parts of my face that are clearly missed because of how awkwardly shaped this mask is. Like, who has a mouth hole? section that needs to be that big. Like it doesn't go on so you can like lay it flat. I don't know. This mask just seems really awkward and weird. But if you guys are not new to my channel, you guys know that I struggle to put on these masks in journal because they are usually weirdly shaped. So I'm gonna leave this mask on for 10 minutes probably because I don't think I can handle having it on my face for more than that. So it is 8.10 right now and I will come back at 8.20 and I will take it off and tell you guys how my skin is feeling and if I notice any positive or negative things. Okay, so it has officially been 15 minutes, so I decided to leave it on for 15 minutes rather than 10. And it kind of started to sting around my mouth area a little bit, so that's why I decided to take it off a little bit earlier than the 20 minutes. I was only gonna leave it on for 10 minutes and then I got distracted and I decided to leave it on for 15. And then when I looked at the clock, I was like, mm, I'm gonna take it off now because it's starting to irritate my mouth area. So, this mask um, contains ingredients, um, water, glycerin, a bunch of words I can't say, hyaluronic acid, so that's what's going to be um, the hydrating um, property that's always in these masks that tend to always be in these masks, the hyaluronic acid. And then I read something online um, that said that hyaluronic acid takes the moisture out of the air in your surrounding areas that you are. So I'm wondering if that's why hyaluronic acid doesn't work that well for me because I live in such a dry climate and there really isn't any um, moisture for it to take out of the air. So I'm wondering if that's why um, I never really noticed that big of a difference when I use it. But this is supposed to be a deeply hydrate and brighten even tone complexion mask. So I would say that my face does look a little bit brighter right now. Um, it definitely feels sticky, so I don't really know if I would say that it definitely feels hydrated yet. It just feels incredibly sticky. And then I noticed that my lips were starting to get a little bit chapped just from um, the mask touching them. So the holes of this mask were really, really big and really, really awkward. So my face, it didn't really like fit on my face that well. So some of the mask was actually touching my lip and it irritated the crap out of my lip. So I will be using the rest of the masks because I paid for three of them, but I don't think I will be repurchasing them as I don't like the sizing of the mask and I don't like the fact that it's irritating my mouth. Um, it is an okay mask. It's very inexpensive. I got it on the BoxyCharm website at I think 
I think I only paid like $20. I'll list the retail price right here for what I actually paid during the sale, um, the add-on sale, but definitely probably won't be repurchasing them just because I don't, I don't know, I've used very similar masks to this and they don't really irritate my skin or, or bother my mouth, so I probably won't be repurchasing this in the future, but um, it was an okay mask. As for this, I think that the soy face cleanser is pretty good. I don't like the scent of it at all, so I won't be repurchasing it just on that basis. I could not stand the scent of it. It smelled like moldy cucumber and I don't like that. So all in all, I would say these are interesting products, but I definitely won't be repurchasing them in the future. But like that being said, a little bit of a disclosure, what doesn't work for my skin does not mean it's not going to work for your skin. So just because I don't particularly like something does not mean that you won't love it. So if you want to try any of these products, I will list them down below so you guys can check them out and purchase them yourself. But that was everything for this video. I just wanted to do a quick face mask before I, I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. It's like 10 o'clock and I might go to the gym. I might just have a bath. I don't know yet. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye.